Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now. Today I want to show you how to burn an MP3 CD using iTunes. So an MP3 CD is a little different than an audio CD. An audio CD has pretty much uncompressed music on it. You could fit about 70 to 80 minutes worth of music on an audio CD. But an MP3 CD has MP3 files, just like the ones you use in your iPod. You could fit hours and hours worth of music on an MP3 CD. But the problem with an MP3 CD is not all CD players can play them. Fortunately, most CD players produced in the last few years, including the ones in cars, can play back MP3 CDs. And a lot of DVD players can also play back both audio and MP3 CDs. So how do you make an MP3 CD? Well, you need a blank recordable CD, just like you would buy in any store. And all you need is iTunes. iTunes can burn MP3 CDs as well as audio CDs. So the first thing you need to do in iTunes is change one of the preferences. If you go to iTunes Preferences, you'll see the Advanced Settings. In the Advanced Settings, you'll see a tab for Burning. And under Burning, you see a bunch of different options. You want to select MP3 CD, the second major choice. The next thing you want to do is create a playlist specifically for making this MP3 CD. So you press the little plus symbol down there on the bottom left, and you name it. Now you want to select the music that will go into your special playlist. So select your music and go ahead and select the music that you want to put on the MP3 CD. I'm going to select everything I have in my current library and drag it to this playlist. So now in this playlist I've got all these songs. Now here's where it gets tricky. You can only use songs that are compressed as MP3 files. Now in iTunes, in the preferences, in addition to the burning tab, there's also the importing tab. In the importing tab, you can select import using, and it's by default set to the AAC encoder, which is no good for what we want to do. We want to change it to the MP3 encoder. Now, it doesn't matter what setting you use for MP3s as long as you make them into MP3 files. Now, if you've got music that's not an MP3 format but it's been imported as AAC, you can convert it to MP3 by simply control clicking on the song, and you'll have a convert selection to MP3. You'll get a duplicate of the file and you can then use that to burn to an MP3 CD or, and then you can delete it or you can delete the original and keep the MP3 around. Another option if you have the CD still around is to simply go ahead and re-import all this as MP3. If you've purchased music from the iTunes Music Store, chances are it has DRM or Digital Rights Management Protection on it. In that case you cannot convert it to an MP3 and there's no way to use it in this manner. Just another reason never to purchase DRM music. Here's a legitimate use for your music to listen to it in your car or on an MP3 CD player that you're not allowed to because of digital rights management. Now one way around it is to burn an audio CD and use that instead or to burn an audio CD and re-import it as an MP3 file and that way you can then burn that MP3 to an MP3 CD. Now once you've got your playlist ready to burn, one of the things you want to do is you want to sort by artist. Sorting by artist, what that will do is it will actually create folders on the MP3 CD with each album in it. So when you have an MP3 CD player that you can actually browse through by folder, you can go each album. So in other words, this MP3 CD will end up having four folders on it, each one containing one of the albums. I can browse through it song by song, but I can also jump forward to the first song of the next album. So then once you have that done, all you need to do is click on the burn CD button and it will say insert a blank disc. I insert the disc and it will burn an MP3 CD for me. I love these MP3 CDs. I've got a six CD changer in my car which means I've got about a hundred of my albums ready to listen to anytime while I'm driving. And since they're the original MP3 files that I've got on my computer, they also act as a backup for a lot of my music. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.